What is going on guys, it is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide back here with another video tutorial. And today, I'll be showing you how to enable and disable two-step verification on your PlayStation Network account. So in the modern world, we live in there plenty of threats from nefarious sources, hackers, uh, whatnot. And one of the top targets has always been video game uh, accounts. And while well, PlayStation is a video game service that gets hacked quite often, especially if you are a little bit loose with your PlayStation credentials, and you may be sharing with people for uh, purpose of game sharing, or you are uh, just sharing with other people. But no matter if you share your account or not, it's always a good idea to have an extra layer of protection on it, um, verification and whatnot. And on PlayStation, the best way to do that is to enable two-step verification. Of course, on the other side of the coin, there are a lot of people who um, feel that uh, two-step verification is unnecessary. Some of you may have accidentally enabled it, or your account defaulted to two-step verification, you're tired of receiving text messages or putting in extra passwords. So in today's video, I'll show you how to enable that two-step verification for extra protection and how to disable it so you're not constantly uh, barraged with uh, text messages from Sony. So first I'm going to show you how to do this on console because I'm assuming this is the preferred method of most people. So I will first head up to the settings menu uh, over to account management and this is assuming we are already signed in to the PlayStation Network account we wish to um, do this to. We'll head down to account information and then once we are in security, we can head down to the two-step verification tab. Now you'll see right there in the corner that mine says it is inactive. Uh, I'll be showing you first how to activate it, and then we'll be coming back here to show how to deactivate it. So uh, we'll head in here, and this will give us a bunch of information about what two-step verification is. And if you don't know what it is, you can either read all of that, or you can listen to me um, telling you right now. And it's basically an extra layer of protection for your PlayStation 4 account, as I said. And that layer of protection is basically a code that PlayStation will send to your phone. You will receive that code, you will uh, type it in on the screen or on the website or wherever you're accessing your PlayStation account, and it'll confirm it's you and it'll let you in. Anyways, now that we know what it is, we can head over here to Setup Now, and I've already inputted my phone number, which you cannot see because it is blanked out because I do not want you to call me. But if you've not put in a phone number or you want to add one, you will head to the uh, Add Your Mobile Phone Number uh, option. It will appear as a uh, different selection if you have not put in your phone number but if you want to add one it'll appear in this little drop down menu anyways once we've selected our phone number we'll select next and it will send us a code to our phone and we will uh, get our phone out with the phone number that we inputted and it will let us know that two-step verification has been enabled now you'll see here that there's this little checkbox right here i'm going to leave this unchecked because this basically uh, will sign out on all our other devices which i don't really want to do because i don't want to um, you know sign out of everything but if you uh, do check this that'll basically make sure everything's airtight everything is as secure as it could possibly be everything's signed out everything is all locked up but for my convenience i'll just leave it unchecked so we'll head over here to okay and now if we look in the right corner here we can see that uh, two-step verification is active. So now that we've activated, say we um, already had it active and we're annoyed by all our messages, or we activated it thinking that it would be an extra layer of security, but we've found it to be annoying, like I have. So if you've finally gotten tired of it, we will once again head into the two-step verification. So in here we can once again see that the status is active in case we weren't looking at the uh, last screen. And before I deactivate it, I just want to talk about the backup codes really quickly. These are basically a bunch of uh, codes that you can write down that will work to access your account in case your phone's out of power, you lost it, it got run over by a truck or something, and uh, you don't have your phone with you. For whatever reason, you can write down a few of these codes, and they will work as if it was a mobile code that you would receive to sign in. Uh, so if I were you and I had this method, I would write a few of these down because this is like a backup method just in case everything goes wrong. And if you've used all these codes because they're a one-time use sort of a thing, then just deactivate and reactivate your uh, two-step verification and it'll give you a whole bunch of new codes. So when we back to deactivating, we can head up here to status and uh, just down to this little drop down menu, inactive and uh, confirm. Nice and easy. Uh, I'm glad PlayStation doesn't have us input a bunch of uh, codes or passwords or anything. We just deactivate it and it is now inactive. We can see in the corner again, it is inactive. So now that I've showed you the PlayStation side, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of the computer side in case you want to uh, use this process with an older console, PS3, PS Vita, or uh, just do it on your computer because you don't want to go on your PlayStation. So the second method to enabling and disabling two-step verification is to just head to PlayStation's website. Uh, and you head up here, if you're not signed in already, make sure to sign in and click onto your profile picture. Head down to account settings. It'll take you to the Sony Entertainment Network website. And from here, we can head down to security. Click onto that. And then we can scroll down to this two-step verification section at the bottom. Now for me, I've not activated it yet. So I will click onto edit and it'll give us this pop-up window here once again telling us 
then we need to enter our signing ID a password and just to have our phone ready for any uh, text messages that will come from Sony uh, when we sign in. So I will activate it and it will tell us here just that we cannot use this two-step verification on any um, older consoles or mobile consoles just on PlayStation's website and on the PS4. Just click continue and we'll enter our phone number. Okay, so I've put in my phone number and now I'm going to type in the verification code to confirm that it is actually me. And now two-step verification is enabled. So it'll sign us out and we'll have to put in our information once again here on the website to sign in. And even though this should be pretty self-explanatory, I'm going to show you how to deactivate it. So just head back to the exact same page we were on before, uh, down to uh, the two-step verification. And if we head down here, we can once again see that we can change the way this two-step verification uh, works. We can change it to a password or to a backup code or whatever instead of having to have a you know, Sony text us each time we sign in but anyway back up to here we can uh, click on edit and it'll give us basically the same windows before and we will click deactivate to deactivate it uh, it's asking us if we're sure and it will just deactivate it if we are signed in with two-step verification already so before I end the video I just want to give my quick opinion on the two-step verification process now I'm in no way a cybersecurity professional so take this with a grain of salt uh, and I you know you can completely ignore my opinion if you want which is totally fine but in my opinion the two-step verification is not the best it can get pretty annoying pretty quickly I uh, was using it for the first basically few minutes and it got annoying because just enabling the feature PlayStation sends you like two codes just to activate it so uh, for me personally it's not worth it to constantly you know go in my pocket get my phone out putting the code uh, on the PlayStation and then sign in you know for me it's just not worth it if I were to recommend a method of actually securing your account more I would just say uh, improve the strength of the password just input a bunch of random numbers and letters uh, and that should up the security more obviously it'll be a lot faster than having to pull your phone out and having put in the, the code but if you really care about your PlayStation account maybe you've been hacked before maybe your account information is out there somewhere you don't want people to use it on a regular basis then this this method is probably the best for you. It's the most secure method by far. It's just that for me, the hassle going through it every time I sign in is just not worth it. So that does it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. And uh, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section. I'll be sure to answer them as quickly as possible. If you really love my content and my voice and uh, everything that I do, then uh, be sure to subscribe. And uh, other than that, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and have a wonderful day. Thanks.